Good morning. Thank you for coming to our play, Alice and Alice. This play is found in our fourth grade language arts book. The play is like a dream that Alice and Alice have after they had been reading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. They meet some interesting creatures along the way, and some funny things happen to them in their dream. Sit back, and we hope you enjoy the play. Scene one, the twins' room. Meet Alice and Alice. They're twins. They just moved to town. It's bedtime, and Alice is reading Alice's adventure when they ran out loud to Alice. Their mother comes in. The cat only grinned when it saw Alice. It looked good-natured, she thought. Still, it had very long claws and a great many teeth. Not too much on YouTube. Tomorrow's the first day out of my school. I want you to be bright-eyed and bushy tail. Come on, it's on my page. No, on my chapter. Five more minutes and lights up. Still, it had very long claws and a great many teeth. Scene two, at school. The next thing Alice and Alex know, it's Monday morning and they're at the new school. Alice, is no one else here? Hello, is anyone here? Suddenly a small white haired man with a pink nose rushes by. Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. The small man pulls a watch from his pocket and checks it. He hurries on. Quick, let's follow that guy. The twins chase the man down the hall. Mister, hey mister. Excuse me. There you are, Susan. I need two, George. I need four gallons of lemonade right away. Um, I think you have us confused with some other children. Don't be silly. Now hurry up. Now go away. When I hear you, who are you? Mr. Rabbit, of course. Now, new students, we'll have to go to the main office. How do we get there? Follow the sign. Mr. Rabbit leaves. This school is weird. Yeah, weirder than weird. Who said that? I did up here. Alice and Alex look up and see a boy standing on a tall chair grinning. I'm just a cat, a home monitor. Do you know which way we're supposed to go? Depends on where we're trying to get to. The main office. You can go left or you can go right. What's the difference? One's left and one's right. You mean both ways to the office? Sure, if you walk around. Right Are you trying to confuse us? I don't know. I'm trying to help you. The twins look around trying to decide which way to go. When they look back at Chester, he has disappeared. There's a big grid on the wall where he once stood. Alex, that grin was in the book I was reading last night. The Cheshire cat disappears except for its grin. Yeah, yeah, but not. Alice walks over to a little door. A sign on the doorknob says, open me. Hey, check it out, a sign. Alice opens the door. Whoa, it's stuck in there. Yeah, but I'm going in. Alice steps through the doorway and Alex hears, yikes, I'm falling. I'm still falling. Still falling. Hey, I just landed on a pile of humongous marshmallows. Would I lie to you? Come on down. Scene three, the lunchroom. Alex lands next to Alice on a pile of huge marshmallows in the corner of a large lunchroom. Hey, check it out. We're not the only people here. Call those people. The one with the stack of hats. That's a boy. I think that's a girl next to him. The one with the rabbi face and pointy ears. Oh, uh, what's that sleeping on the table between them? It looks like a giant mouse. Alice and Alice walks over, walk over to the table. Hi, I'm Alice, and this is my twin brother, Alex. What's with the mouse? This isn't any mouse. This is Dora Mouse. She's in third grade. Wake up, Dora. I'm on a chair and this is Matt Hatter. Now go away. There's no room here. What do you mean? There's plenty of room. The twins sit down at the table. Matt turns to Alice and looks at her hair. You need a haircut. And you're rude. And lies are even like writing it. Is that a good old? I bet I can guess that. You mean you think you can figure out the answer? Definitely. Then you should always say what you mean. I do. At least I mean what I say. That's the same thing. Not at all. Oh, well, you might just as well say I see what I eat is the same thing as I eat what I see. Oh dear, Dora's asleep again. So have we guessed a riddle yet? No, we give up. What's the answer? I have no idea. Don't you have anything better to do than ask girls that have no answers? What a waste of time. 
If you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't be talking about wasting it. It... I don't get it. Of course you don't. You've probably never even talked to time before. And you have? Oh yes, we are very good friends until... They quarreled. It was last March at a school recital. Since then, time won't do anything to ask it. It's always noon now. Is that why the table is set for lunch? Yes, that's it. It's always lunch and there's no time to clear the table. So then you keep going around the table, right? Exactly, as things get eased up. What happens when you get back to the beginning again? It must get disgusting. Now who's the rude one? Let's change the subject. I, I vote that Dora tells the story. Wake up, Dora. I wasn't sleeping. I heard every word you said. Tell us a story. Once upon a time, there are two twins, a boy and a girl. Twins, yeah, let's all have some more milk. We haven't had any, so we can't have more. It's easy to have less than more. You two can't behave. I won't finish the story. Sorry, go ahead. So these two twins lived at the bottom of the well. What did they eat? Honey? I want a new carton of milk. Let's change places. Everyone stands up and moves one seat to the left. I don't get it. Where did they get the honey? It was a honey well. Ha ha ha, that's so funny I forgot to laugh. Suddenly Miss Queen burst into the lunchroom. She was wearing a dress with red hearts all over it. A noisy gang follows her. Here they are, grab them! Wait, is she talking about us? A big guy in a football helmet grabs Alex. The guy in a catcher's mask chases Alice. No! Your heads are our heads now! No, help! Get this creep off me! Off with their heads! Off with their heads! Scene four, the twins' room. It's morning in the twins' bedroom. Alice and Alex open their eyes. They're safe at home. The book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland lies open on the floor. I had the weirdest dream. I bet mine was weirder. Oh yeah, did yours have a talking mouse in it? Yes, as a matter of fact. Really? And a disappearing home monitor. Yeah, how did you know? Let's just say I read the book. Jacob Ginsky, Alex. Carson Cranky, Queen's Gang. Isaac Gergen, Queen's Gang. Jonathan Dillo, um, Mother. Avery Jenin, Mr. Rabbit. Sophia Lock, and Dora Mouse. Logan O'Connor, Matt Hatter. Eva Otto, Marge Hare. Dylan Fisher, Queen.
Jackson DeGroote, Chester Cat, the whole monitor. Thank you all for coming. Um, they've worked hard on this and they were so excited this morning, the energy all this week when we've been practicing and we performed yesterday too for a few grades, didn't we? So, thank you. Maybe there'll be stars here someday, huh? So, they enjoyed it. Thank you all for coming and taking your time out of the day and have a great day.